Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Melody and I just wanted to start this episode with a massive thank you to everyone for last week. Um, your comments and kind words and supportive words just meant the world to us. Sorry we haven't managed to reply to you all but it really touched us how supportive you all were so thank you. Yes, it's another sewing project and I'm making blinds for the whole boat. You may be saying, but you've previously made blinds. They weren't right. And lots of people say, just do it once and do it right. But a lot of the time, we don't actually know the best way to do it. Um, every boat's different and it's working out how to do it. So we have made mistakes. Well, I've made mistakes before on the blinds. They were trials. <laughs> Uh, trial run and they didn't work so trial run number two and hopefully that works and it will become a permanent thing. So the main purpose of the blinds obviously is for some privacy when we're in marinas definitely black out in the boys room so they sleep a bit better we haven't got any windows in the forepeak so it's not so much of an issue and also uh, insulating properties this I'm going to sandwich this either side of the fabric um, to keep the heat out and the warmth in when it needs to be in, if that makes sense. <laughs> when we're in hotter countries, um, we want to keep the heat out. And when we're in colder countries, we want to keep the warmth in. So um, I'm going to be using some of this. And the boys have chosen the boys. Ollie didn't choose. Jack has chosen this fabric for the our cabin. And Andy previously made templates um, in last week's episode.
no, but on the 28th of April, so in just a couple of weeks' time, I've got a fundraiser concert with my best music mates in the whole world at the Roadhouse uh, in Sutton Coalfield to raise a little bit of money for our Round the World trip. A few people have said to me, Andy, what are you doing? You're already stressed enough, obviously, trying to get Ocean Melody ready and getting Steel Melody sold, but I can tell you now, music is my catharsis. I need this stuff for me to kind of survive mentally in the world. Music and art and this kind of stuff is my break from boat work, so it's really really helping me actually. Tickets are on sale now using the link on the screen and you can click the link in the description to go and buy tickets. Please, please come. So what I thought I'd do just as a little bit of fun now is play a tiny little snippet of some of the songs that I'm going to be doing during the gig. Now I can only play a couple of seconds because otherwise we'll get a copyright strike and we don't want that because it'll demonetize the video. And if music isn't your thing, I do apologize, just skip over this section. But the channel is called Sailing Melody. So it's about sailing and boat work and families and music and art and travel and all kinds of stuff so if you're not into music skip over this section but just for a bit of fun see if you can guess what these few tunes are and tell us in the comments <laughs> So there you go, see how many of those you can guess the name of. I've only done a tiny snippet of each one because I don't want to get demonetized, although it might have already happened. As I say, the gig is on the 28th of April at 2 p.m. in the afternoon at the Roadhouse in Sutton Coalfield. Please go ahead and buy your tickets now. There's plenty of tickets left uh, and hopefully I'll see you there. Anyway, in the meantime, back to the boat work. This week we are continuing to put the boat back together, ready to move back on very soon. Um, if you remember a few weeks ago, Jack varnished and sanded some lovely washboards. So we now have the option of this, which is clear and will let the daylight in during the day, or these, the original washboards, and I think they look great. I know lots of people um, always commented about the fact that our washboards looked awful, but they weren't a priority, but Jack really enjoyed doing this job. And then we've got the ones for the boys' cabin. So there they are. I think they look brilliant. I think Jack's done a great job and he should be very proud of himself. Um, anyway, I'm working in here today, so I better crack on. As you know, from time to time, companies often approach us and ask to send us stuff and promote stuff. Um, most of the time we say no, but we turn most of that stuff down because it's either not relevant or we feel it's poor quality, or it's something that we just don't want to promote. We get asked to promote gambling apps, um, mobile phone games. We've even been approached by a tool company whose tools we don't use. Um, so we have said no to those. But there are things that are applicable 
relevant and good enough quality that we at least take the time to review them and have a look and see what we think. We are aware product placement is a touchy subject and we know that lots of people don't like it when people review things on YouTube channels. But it's really important to us because it either makes up some of our income or it supplies us with important stuff that we can use on the boat. So a little while ago, Doogee um, sent us a phone for Andy to review and we thought it was great, but we thought the camera could be improved. So they have sent us their new flagship phone, currently getting rained on, um, the V30 Pro. Andy still got the other one, which he uses on a daily basis. And my old phone is cracked. So it's really handy that we have both got decent rugged phones. So let me just talk a little bit more about the phone. So one of the things that I really love about this phone is how long its battery lasts and the fact that it fast charges. I'm terrible for remembering to charge my phone um, and this will last a good, good time. <laughs> um, I'll put all the specs on the screen, but it's lasted me a good few days without being charged at all. It's definitely chunky, but that's what makes it great. It's ultra rugged, it's grippy, and I haven't got to worry when Ollie grabs hold of it and drops it that the screen's gonna break. All my phone screens always break. And maybe I'm a bit careless, I'm not sure, but they're always falling out of my pocket or being dropped or something like that. So if it's on the helm and we're using it for Navionics and it flies off, as long as it doesn't disappear, we know that it's not gonna break. The camera is definitely much better than the last one. We're really impressed with it. And the cool thing that I like is the night vision camera. Uh, so it means that when we're filming at night, uh, we can actually use this and get some cool footage. So the thing that I love about it most is the fact that it's waterproof. So even if this happens, the screen still works. Yeah, it's still working. So that means even if I need to access my charts and it's getting wet, I can still access them. So all in all, I think that makes the Doogee V30 Pro a great phone for any outdoor enthusiast. Andy's done a great job so far piecing back together the aft cabin. Um, however, I've come today with these bits of ceiling panels and they're all a bit rubbish really because there's tiny little pieces and I don't think there needs to be tiny little pieces. So I just need to work out where they go and decide whether I want to cut longer pieces and then cover those in vinyl and just fill in the last of the gaps um, on the headlining. That side. Like an idiot, I bought a can of white spray paint. I thought I bought glue. Um, and it was quite funny at the checkout, the man, he asked me in Welsh and I thought I understood what he meant and responded in my not very good Welsh. Um, but he obviously said, are you sure you want a can of spray paint? And he didn't mean to get glue. <laughs> but my, um, my language skills obviously need to improve. <laughs> but I just said, yeah, I'm sure that's what I want. <laughs> well, I just said yes. <laughs> that will teach me, won't it? For thinking that I know what I'm saying. So all the headlining is now done and that's all 
nice and soft and covered with that vinyl so it shouldn't hurt when you accidentally sit up in bed as much as it would before. I've now ripped the aft cabin apart even more um, and the insulated behind this before. So I've taken the wall side panels down and I'm going to cover these in vinyl um, so it's comfy when you're on an angle of hill to lean against uh, rather than the hard wood. It is now raining though so I'm trying to do it in here so involving a lot of mm, jiggery pokery. That's what it did look like, or well, still does on that side, but here's what it looks like on this side, which is a lot more comfy. So that's a lot more comfortable to lean on. There'll be a little shelf thing here, um, I'm not too worried about that. And I need to get some little caps and washer type things so it doesn't fall through the vinyl. Thing the camera does this justice but it looks so much better than it did before.